I see someone I didn't expect to ever lay eyes on again. Oh my god. Hello beautifuls, this is Avrami here. Welcome back to Mystic Destiny Serendipity of Eons. We're here. <sighs> I don't know what's going on, but he has shows ashes. And he's gonna use it in a ritual. I don't even know what he's doing. The blood of my veins run cold. Runs cold. I look back and forth from Elias to the urn. No. I don't know what is going on, but you shouldn't do it. Elias looks so pleased with himself, but I, I feel hot and cold at the same time, like I'm going to vomit. Oh, you seem bothered. Do I? Do I really? <laughs> Maybe I should just toss these out. No, don't do that either. Or shall I use it to fertilize the garden? You are so rude. You are so screwed in the head. You need help. You need help and I will help you. But not like this. I'm shaking but my panic starting to turn into pure rage with every word. You're disgusting. Maybe she just remains alone, you asshole. Exactly. Have you done enough to him? Have you done enough to me? Why are you repeating the same thing as your previous empress? Just let him rest in peace. I struggle against my bindings, wanting to wrap my hands around his throat. But the angrier I get, the happier Elias seems. He takes an old-looking golden brooch, brooch, brooch that's set with diamonds in a large heart-shaped garnet and places it over my heart. What? This. This is called the bleeding heart. Yeah? And? <laughs> Almost at the same time as it says that I feel a sharp pain. I gasp, not expecting it. I look down and see that the brooch seems to have attached itself to my skin. Ew, get it off! The garnet seed starts to faintly glow. This will be what collects your powers. How can something so pretty be so strong? Well, it's done. Oh, <laughs> that's it's our, when it's done, sorry. When, not well. I was well like, wow, that's fast. When it's done, I'll take it off. If you're fortunate enough to survive the process, then you'll be free to do whatever you like. So I won't be immortal anymore. I'll be powerless. I'll be normal. I'll be a normal human again. Elias then picks up an ancient looking bronze dagger. Ah, here we go. The blade and cross guard are made from bronze, and the handle seems to be made from some sort of bone. Ew. The palm. I imagine a human bone. <laughs> the palm has a garnet set into it, and the garnet and the dagger is identical in, the, in color to the garnet and the brooch. Bro brooch. <laughs> they appear to make a pair. It took a while for Hiji to find another one. Hiji. Do we know that person? These daggers are very rare nowadays. Elus's voice is clinical and detached as he examines the dagger. Then he roughly grabs my bound arms and places the dagger alongside the, alongside the under part of my forearm. He casually drags the dagger along my arm, leaving behind a trail of blood. Oh my god. Am I feeling this? Okay. I once put gas when the skin heals over. What? He he like cut it and my skin just regen itself? Oh how curious. I didn't know it was going to do that. Drawing it again, Elias takes me by surprise with the dagger. This time he makes a much deeper cut. I gasp from the pain, but I refuse to cry out. This is torture. Elias continues to attack some different parts of my body, satisfying some strange morbid curiosity. I wish he would have flashbacks of what well, maybe that'll make it worse. <laughs> a flashbacks of his empress doing this to him and how much pain he felt but then he'll probably like put that pain into anger and then just keep stabbing me so let's not do that I grip my teeth as Elis continues with the dagger keeping Sho's face in my mind the entire time out of the corner of my eye I notice something's changed about the jar the ashes have turned from gold to black I realize Elis has stopped for a moment and appears to be thinking I wonder what would happen if I tried it on your eyes Look at his face right now. No, let's not. I swallow hard, unable to hide the terror on my face. Can you at least take my glasses off for me? So that way, you know, the glass won't hit me in the eyeball. And can I close my eyes if you do it? <laughs> he slowly brings the dagger closer to my face and complete panic takes me over. I'm completely frozen as a bloody blade inches closer and closer to my eye. Okay, we're on the last chapter, guys. Oh my god. On Dark Wings. No one's coming to save us. 
I have to be the ultimate Wonder Woman here. Suddenly there's a sound of, or maybe <laughs> there's a sound of glass cracking and shattering. Is it? Okay, that's not from my glasses. I was like, wow. A blast of energy explodes from the urn and blasts Elus away from me. The urn? The force is so great that the chair I'm strapped tips over. Wait, straps? But I'm strapped to tips over. I fall to the side along with the chair so tightly bound to it. The explosion combined with hitting my head on the ground makes my ears ring. My vision is blurry too, and the ringing in my ears is so loud it's all I can hear. I see Elius coming closer to me and try to struggle to get up. Damn you, Elius! But there's nothing I can do. I'm so confused as to what's happening, but I hate being a helpless I hate being a helpless position like this even more. As my vision starts to clear up and the ringing goes down, I see. I see someone I didn't expect to ever lay eyes on again. Oh my god. He is so beautiful. He's not dead. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. He's not dead, guys. I don't. I'm trying not to cry. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's not dead. Oh my god. I'm so flustered right now. <laughs> he's not dead. Oh, <laughs> he's so beautiful. Show someone standing next to me. How is he alive? Whose urn is. Whose ashes are those? You're so goddamn beautiful. Oh my god. His hair, his chest, his wings. He is so... Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's focus. This is the last episode. Or, I don't know if it's the last episode. The last chapter. But it isn't quite the show I remember. No, it's a badass. It's a, a beautiful phoenix god right here. Large fiery colored wings are folded on his back and while he reminds me of Shell, he looks totally different. No. No. That's not show. It can't be. Oh, yeah. If it's not show, you're show to me now. <laughs> he kneels down and touches my shoulder gently. I look away. Get away from me! As much as I want it to be true, I know this is just another one of Elise's head games. <laughs> oh my god. Show might be just. Show might have just topped every single storyline. It's really me, Michiko. Look at his expression, dear lord. Oh my god. I'm back. If this game also had voice acting, dude, we're, we'll, I'd just be dead at this point. Oh my god. This voice is so quiet and gentle that it strikes a chord somewhere deep within me. Sh Show? I'm just wondering how he's alive. Show nods and works on getting my bindings undone by melting them. I can't stop staring at him. I'm too afraid to. I'm so scared that if I take my eyes off him, I'll wake up from this dream. The bindings fall apart and he helps me sit up. He takes a brooch that's attached to me and pulls it off quickly, like ripping off a bandage. I once for a moment show cr crushes it with his bare hands. Is this the afterlife? Bitch, no. You, you give me that hug option, I'm hugging him. I started to throw my arms around Show, but he looks different. Feels so different. I'm a little nervous. He's more badass. Is this really him? The Show that I knew. Oh my god. He is so goddamn gorgeous. So much to look at. Something about this show seems somehow ethereal. Ethereal? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Usually I don't like looking at chess because, like, you guys don't. You guys know my fear of chess. Uh, in like, in real life and in game, I just can't handle it because it's just so much skin. But that's all I'm looking at, Astro. <laughs> Sorry for taking so long. Sh show, but how? I reach out and lightly touch his face, trying to figure out if he's truly real. His skin feels so soft. Or, er, feels soft, not so soft. Feels soft and warm, though. Most importantly, he doesn't disappear. He softly laughs. I'm a phoenix, remember? Yeah? Uh, I guess, I uh, thank god he's one of the phoenixes that can resurrect. He puts his hand on top of mine before pulling me in for a hug. The feeling is so nostalgic that I naturally relax in his arms and hug him back. 
He told me that phoenixes couldn't resurrect. Elio said the same thing, and I saw you die. You disintegrated in my arms. It was the stars that decided. They deemed me to be a tr Oh, thank God. Pray to the stars to be a true phoenix. But I'm so sorry you had to go through all of that. That means we can live happily ever after, guys. Feeling overwhelmed by his scent, his warmth, and how happy I am to see him. I nuzzle my head against his shoulder. I'm so happy. I miss you so much. Oh, sh she, she's finally saying it. I love you so much. I feel surprised. I feel surprised go through Sho's body, and that's when I realize what I've just said. I, I sip and I feel my face heat up, but Sho just hugs me even tighter. I love you too. Oh! Best route. Best route. Even though it's putting me through so many roller coasters and crap. But you know, whatever. That's life. Show. I don't have time to be happy about this, though. Over Show's shoulder, I see Elu's get up from where he was flung against the wall. He pulls out the dagger that must have stabbed him when the explosion happened and puts his hand over the wound, wincing. I figured you'd be back. Okay, so if he did get stabbed with the dagger, nothing happens. Shoot. Here goes my plan. <laughs> though you're quick for your first time. Far quicker than any of the others. Sho and I pull away from each other to face Elius directly. What? You knew he'd come back the whole time? Whose ashes were that then? Ew. Bastard. Elius takes down his hand and I realize he must have catarized. Catarized? Ew. Catarize it when I say that the wound is gone. The others. What are you talking about? Why, yes, you've changed, can't you tell? Yes, perhaps a quick resurrection, exactly why you've physically changed so much already. I wonder, did you pay a high price for your timely resurrection? Well, no matter. You're one of us now. Black fire runs through your veins. He's a black phoenix now? Elias laughs cruelly. I hope you like being a a, a paria. A, a what? Paria? Pari I don't know what that is. Being hated by all the true phoenixes. That self-righteous... What? <laughs> that self-righteous lot will see you as nothing more than a taunt, taint to their otherwise perfect kind. He doesn't look like a black phoenix, though. Compared to... Elius? Phoenix... Uh, sorry. Elius brushes the dust off his clothes and look at it, looks at us with a pensive expression. He then grabs a large silver ring on his finger that, that has a red gem inlaid in it. You truly look like a black phoenix. Show, however, looks like a true phoenix. With a flash, he transforms into his true form. It strikes terror into my heart. Suddenly, I want to protect Show to tell him to get out of here and run. I can't lose Show again. I can't, but Show is powerful now. I trust him. I hold on to my gear crystal necklace and focus my energy into it. But before I can do anything else, Elus suddenly creates a powerful rush of wind with his wings. It happens so fast, I don't have time to put up a barrier. Sho wraps himself around me, protecting me from the glass and rocks hur hur hurtling towards us with his wings. I can feel Sho tense up when the shards- oh shoot. Shards of glass hit him and I start to panic when I realize this is exactly like what happened last time. <sighs> we, we got a second chance. He's covering us right now. Can't I build a shield while he's shielding us? It can't happen again. I won't let it. The wind's attack stop and Sho lets me go. We stare at Elus, trying to calculate his next move. I wonder, what shall I do with the both of you? Elus looks at me, his red eyes at first carefully examining me. But then I can see a new emotion I've never seen before in his face. Panic. He's panicking? That's first. His eyes frantically move up and down as he searches for something. Then they dart across the floor. Are you looking for that little brooch of yours? Oh. Oh. Sho holds up what seems to be a pile of dust in one palm. And there's a devilish grin I've never seen before on his face. Your plan has fallen apart. I'm not letting you get near her again. You're such a prince. The look of shock in Elus' eyes is slowly replaced by anger. He starts shaking as his face twists and distorts with a myriad of emotions, pure hatred, rage, and loss. Bro, just, just give up. He summons black fire and starts throwing them at us again and again and again while he spits his words. 
You fool! You idiot! Go ahead, keep doing it. You've destroyed the last remaining brooch. You are the reason Dark Phoenixes can never receive the respect they deserve. You, uh, I, I think we can be civil and talk to this to the Phoenix government or whatever. You're the reason Dark Phoenixes will continue to be seen as a stain on society. You have destroyed our chance in your own as well, you fool. I don't think he's a black phoenix, though. Can you look at him? Do, do, do. Okay. During Elise's tirade, Shell keeps me behind him while he deflects fireballs left and right with nothing but his hands. That must look so cool. They hit the windows and the ceiling. Anywhere they hit, they explode and spread along the walls. But they never seem to hurt Sho. I look at his back, starting to fully understand that he's no longer the Sho that I once knew. Elias' anger seems to rise with every explosion along with the destruction of his ballroom. Oh, messed up again. After a few minutes of this, Elias stops throwing the fireballs, but it's suddenly upon Sho, his deadly shark claws slashing. And for what? You ruin an entire race for what? A useless doll? I'm not a doll, okay? You're not a doll either. You're just corrupted because of your empresses. Sho, or, well, yeah, both of them. Sho manages to dodge almost all of his attacks as he moves backward. But Elias lunges forward again and again until finally Sho tries to back up but runs into me. Shoot, why am I always in the way? His soft, his soft wings fill my face and tickle my skin, oddly comforting amongst all the destruction. But the sensation serves to clear some of the terror from my mind. I know if I don't act now, Sho won't make it. I'll lose this feeling, and I won't go through that again. This time, I will protect you. Finally... The thought spurring me to action, I drop to my knees on the show's wings and throw my hands out in desperation. A barrier springs forth between Elios and us. As Elios moves to attack again, his claws only slash at my barrier. I stand up, then I can feel the force of his rage and frustration as he rapidly claws ill. It must sound so- well, it's not gonna sound screeching. I hate that sound, by the way, like the sound of a screech on anything. As he rapidly claws it over and over. Ichiko. You can leave this to me. It's fine, babe. I'll protect you with whatever little power I have against your glor like glorious, gorgeous powers here. Thanks, but now that I have you back, there's no way I'm going to lose you. On impulse, I lean in and give Show a quick peck on the lips. I even have time. Your girl, girl. I have time. I'm way over time recording, but <laughs> I have the time to build a shield up, protecting the two of us, and the time to kiss him on the lips. Multitask. <laughs> but anyway, this is where we're going to end today's episode off. I didn't realize it went over a little bit, but it's fine. Um, I don't know how much is left in this episode, but I guess the next one is going to be the final one. And obviously, you guys already know, I said show was already the, the best story by far. Because sent me on a roller coaster but anyway thank you guys for watching today's episode stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one